I definitely could say that what they've done is appalling, amoral, and extremely unethical. I, I couldn't believe that these things happen in, uh, in, a, in a civilized uh, city like Dubai. Amjad Rehan led an Ernst & Young inspection of Kaloti Group, the largest gold refiner in Dubai, to check its gold was conflict-free by international standards. Rehan decided to speak out after details of the Kaloti inspection were not published. During the audit, we came across some severe findings, some disturbing findings. One of them is uh, unreported cash transactions of over than 5.2 billion US dollars by one refiner in one year. You should avoid cash especially if, uh, if you're dealing with, uh, with substance like, uh, like gold. By its nature, uh, everybody is asking for transparency and traceability. You want to hide, the easiest way to do it is use cash. Kaloti is the largest gold processor in the Middle East, refining 300 tons of gold every year. It plans to increase its capacity to refine nearly 2,000 tons per year. Kaloti would then be the biggest refiner in the world. One of the most sho shocking findings that was classified by, by uh, us as a zero tolerance breach of protocol uh, uh, is related to four to five tons of gold, gold bars, coated silver, smuggled out of Morocco, arriving in Dubai, declared as gold. When the team found that, they discussed it with, uh, with Kaluti and they admitted that this is the way of doing business with, uh, with these Moroccan suppliers.